I'm Van. I'm Sorry. That's Booby. And Vita and Chip and Culpy. Well, it's Christmas Eve Eve, so what better um, way to celebrate it than to listen to an epic black metal song? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a Patreon pick from our Patreon crew. This is Wolves in the Throne Room. I will lay down my bones among the rocks, rocks and roots. Yeah. A very long title. Um, this is supposed to be Chris Fenn's react to our okay. black metal band. I'll add that in. This is gonna be like the biggest fucking long titles <laughs> title ever. Christians react to wolves in the throne room. I will lay down my bones among the rocks on the roots. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Uh, this is a black metal band. Uh, we saw them with Behemoth. We did. But they didn't play this song for obvious reasons. If they did, that would have took up their entire set. Right. <laughs> so, I feel like I want to turn off all the lights and stuff. That's what we were instructed to do. At, at, uh, what would they say? Just don't worry too much about the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, turn the light Maybe down a little like, bit. we can, like, dim it down some. That's How as dim as it's going to be. Okay? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, so... <clears throat> We were instructed by the Patreon group not to listen, look too much to the lyrics, but to just experience the... The music. The music. Yep. So, there we are. Alright, so, we're going to try to do that. But there are lyrics, so... Anyway, ready? Yep. Go.
It was a surprisingly hopeful sounding song. Yeah. Did well, you think so too? We had an interview with an individual in a black metal band. From uh, He was from Batushka. Yep. And they use basically Eastern Rust Russian liturgy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the name of the record is Liturgia. Yeah. And, you know, it's... It, it's black metal is... You know, initially it was, ah, the devil, ah, mm, ah, aren't you afraid? Mm -hmm. But the subject matter has expanded, you know. Mm -hmm. This seemed to be a lot more pagan. It seemed to be like a ritual. Oh, what, what is this that? Is, you mean lyrically? I didn't know. Yeah, I don't know lyrically, what the lyrics are. Yeah, lyrically, that's what it looked like. Th there's only three songs on this record. That's weird. Wow. But, I mean, they're, they're 18, 18 minutes, minutes long. So if you figure the average song is three minutes, that's six songs right mm -hmm. there. Um... So it's probably a concept record or something like that, but... <coughs> so what? Yeah, it seemed hopeful. Um, it seemed like one of those, you know, the crisis motif where there's a death that occurs, but then a resurrection happens yes. to a new beginning type thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, which I always say, we, we, we only, only, we, we're only always telling about two or three stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it seemed to... For, from a pagan perspective. Um, but, yeah, sonically, it was... I love the tremolo picking and the the melodies that you can make with tremolo picking are absolutely... They're very simple to play, but they, they're they very powerful. They really add to it. They're really, really, really powerful. Um, so, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love... That's why <laughs> I'm a fan of this type of black metal where you just let the tremolo picking so magua, batushka, this. Mm -hmm. I love that and the atmosphere that it creates. Mm -hmm. it, I wish they would have used that female voice, the one that was at the more. very, very end. More. I wish they would have no. used her more throughout. I agree. Because that yeah. would have been a really, really good contrast. Mm -hmm. And it still was spooky. And I don't really see that she was using any actual words. But it just oh, seemed very... Yeah. Lord of the Rings-ish. Yes, it did. Um, I kept thinking about, like, I kept seeing, like, water at the beginning of the song, like, water in its, you know, various forms, and then, um, mostly, like, rushing water, and then, like, I, like, it felt like it was going somewhere, like, we were, like, whatever the person was in, like, they were gonna come out of it, it was gonna be good, and then, like, at, like, toward the, like, coming toward the ending of the song, like, I saw this, like, the bow of like a ship and there was like a girl that was standing there and like the wind was like blowing and she was like headed toward like a new world <laughs> so like some horrible event like happened yeah. back there and the and and there's there's a sense in which the horror of that event will never leave you which was like to me the the is it's called death vocals right yeah the death vocals that were throughout um so that was like whatever it was like it was still going to be with her but it wasn't going to consume her like she was moving on to something she was going somewhere and there was like some hope and then the female vocals came in and that was like I don't know the entering of that yeah Adam Adam is uh, it's it's an interesting concept to me because I do believe that there are <clears throat> obviously we're Christians so we believe that Christianity is, is the only way mm -hmm. Jesus said so right but I think that there are elements of truth in a lot of these religions that are that are not Christian, right? So like, oh yeah, it's listening to Arcona, I think Arcona, Arcana, mm -hmm. um, and the the love of the earth, mm -hmm. and the you know obviously from a Christian perspective, worshiping the earth is worshiping the creator re creation rather than the creator. Mm -hmm. But I think that at least in Western Christianity, we've swung the other way, and, and especially post-industrial Western yeah. Christianity yep. has swung the other way, and so our connection to the earth, Adam is, Adam was earth-born, he, yeah. he, was, he was taken from the ground, and so I think that we've got a lot to learn from this idea of the sacredness of the ground mm -hmm. and nature and, and things like that, but once, once we industrialized any, everything, um, Christianity kind of lost the mm -hmm. the connection to the to the ground, mm -hmm. which is so central to Christian theology. If you look at the Old and New Testaments, mm -hmm. um, 
even the temple scenery has um, nature right. inside of it. Right. It's all gilded nature yeah. moments. And so you think about the Garden of Eden and all that, and that's kind of like the end game for Christianity is to get back to the garden, mm -hmm. gardenize the universe. But so anytime I see, you know, it started really with Arcona, but you know, anytime you see the, the paganism relative to the to the nature, it's very very intriguing to me. Oh yeah, and of I course, love that stuff. The song ends with the birds and, and all this. Yeah, yeah, I love that stuff. But I I think um, remember Paul was quoting. Who is he quoting when he said, in him we, with the Zeus, it's about Zeus, in him we live and move and breathe and have our being? Epimenides, yeah. Yeah, and, and they, were, move and have our being. they were talking about Zeus, correct? Yeah, the original but context was he was, was using Zeus. it like, that, that, that is God, like, right. in him we move and, we live, live and move and, and have, and have our, our being. being. Yeah. And like, when you think about, so that means the life of God is in all of us. Right. Um, and then, so like, if it's, if it's true of us, why wouldn't it be true of nature as well? Because there is life in nature. Oh, the trees sure. grow, the tree, you know, all the different things. And so, right. so I think that there's a sense of like it, like you can get confused about where the worship should go because you feel like, especially if you're like, like the type of person that like feels the things around them. Like I think some people are so focused on everything else that they miss the things around them. But like when you walk through nature and you feel the energy of the, the right. environment that you're in, um, and then like, you know, some, lots of Christian people, or at least the Christian people that I came around, they're like, don't say that the energy of the nature, like, what are you talking, you're, you're yeah. going to hell, like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. really bad, yeah. you know, yeah. but, but when you're saying, well, no, nature does have an energy and that energy comes from God. And so you, and you recognize the source of that energy. Um, and then it gives you a different respect for it also because you're saying, okay, well, like this is God's energy. And so when we just abuse this stuff and wreck it and not care about it like that's a reflection on on his, on him you know like what we're doing to to what he's made and what he you know what he's done so it's just but, a very interesting story you know. I, I love that I love that stuff and I wish there was more of it in Christianity right I wish Christians had more respect for nature right like some of the other pagan religions do so what, what were the lyrics so it seems to me that this is some sort of ceremony there's two other songs, so... And this one's the last of the three. Yeah. Um, the last, so if I'm looking at the last stanza... I literally didn't read any bit of... I'm looking at the last stanza of mm -hmm. the song right before. Okay. The dance must begin as dust gathers around. Our skin drum and rattle, know the tune. Jawbone driven through, the skull of a great foe. Bested with wooden spear, the tip hardened in fire. Okay. So that was the last thing that you saw on this on the um, the song, the, the song right before. Mm -hmm. And then this one is starts with the torment has ended, the beast has done his work. Yep. Great fires rage outside the wooded sanctuary. So it seems to be a continuation. Uh huh. So the first one was about how they killed this enemy, this foe, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the second one, th this last one seems to be how, what it was from the perspective of the person that got killed, I guess. Mm -hmm. But soon they will be, the, the fires that raged outside the sanctuary will be quenched by the purifying rains, the embers of the ceremonial fire burned to ash. A new warmth stirs with, within the center of the earth, I'm alone here no more. So it looks like he dies, and then... Because he says, I will lay down my bones among the rocks and roots of the deepest hollow next to the stream bed. Mm -hmm. The quiet hum of the earth dreaming is my new song. When I awake, the world will be born anew. Isn't it the... Oh, you feel like I'm going to sneeze. The, what is it, the phoenix or something like that? That bird that burns and comes up from the ashes? Yeah. State? No, not the phoenix. Like it's, it's the, the phoenix. phoenix. But it says the sun god right here explicitly. Oh. So... So I, th this person, I guess he got speared, he died, and he... He got speared or spared? Speared. Okay. He dies, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, but he, he basically believes that he's going to resurrect into a new world, basically. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's what it looks but like. But he was a god? I mean, I, I, I don't really know. I don't have a lot of context. It just seems to be a... Crisis, violent death type thing. Yeah, it says, deep within the most sacred grove, the sun god is born anew. Yeah. 
And then he, and then he rises again to a, a new world, basically. That's really pretty up there. The beast has done his work. Great fires rage outside of this wooden sanctuary. Yeah. There's a couple. The Quiet Hum of the Earth's Dreaming. That's a good one. Um... Because the earth is sleeping, but there's still so much activity because, you know, the birds and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, very good song. Very good song. I liked it. So, I have to be in a certain type of mood, and I get in those moods. But, mm -hmm. you know, if I, I wish I would have given it a nine and a half if I would have had more of the female vocals throughout. Mm -hmm. That would have been mm -hmm. like the. So, what the are you the It's a 8.8. .8. Still pretty good. Still pretty high. Hmm? Yeah. What do you give it? Um. Probably, probably the same because I was I was shooting for an eight, but I didn't know what it was about lyrically. And then, um, like, there was there was some parts of it that I really liked, and then some parts of it that were just okay. I was very surprised in the beginning. Like, it had like this like. Music and then all of a sudden, like, he's like, "What?" It started in. I was like, yeah. "What is yeah. this?" <laughs> kind of jolting. Uh huh. Um, eight point five for me. All right, good one. Good job, patrons. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.